Hello everybody, this is me, Kenneth, from Everything from the Wheelchair Cooking Show. Today I'm taping from my job. Just to let y'all know, uh, this show is about how, if you get a month-to-month -month check, how to make your check last to the next month. And if this, like I always say, if this show not for you, please believe that this show, you know somebody that this show can help. Okay, first, first off, when I first got hurt, I was getting this much. I, this month I'm going to tell you, I was getting this much until my money came in. Cause I got hurt on a job, so it took a while for my money for me to start getting my money. So I had to, I had to survive on this right here. I'm going to get you, give you. Okay, my first check was seven fifty. Nine times out of ten, if you're on a fixed income, you live in on Section Eight or you. Got somebody help you pay your rent and whatnot. But at, at that time, I was paying, I was standing uh, some high rises. And my rent, I was getting seven fifty a month. My rent was three twenty. Okay, seven fifty. Take away three twenty from seven fifty. Let me see how much. I've got the calculator. I want to make sure everything right. Seven fifty. Take away. Seven fifty. Take away three twenty. Give me four thirty. Okay. My electricity bill. I'm gonna say my electricity bill wasn't high. My electricity bill was probably about like sixty something dollars. But say your electricity bill. I'm gonna say a hundred dollars. Electricity bill hundred dollars. Give you three, uh, three thirty. Um, you're gonna buy groceries. Say your grocery bill six dollars. Sixty. Take away three. Sixty. Take away three thirty. Take away sixty. One. I mean two. Two seventy. You know, you in church, you're going to pay your tithes in church. You might not be in church. If you is in church, you're going to pay your tithes in church. You're in the fixed income, so you want to pay like $5 a, $5 a week, $20 a month. Twenty. One fifty. So you got your electricity bill paid, you got groceries, you got your tithes. Okay, transportation, if you, if you ride MTA or you ride excess ride, I'm say thirty dollars a month for that. Wait, thirty equals it's one twenty. Clothes, you wanna buy clothes? Keep your hygiene up. I'm gonna give you a uh, hundred dollars for that. All right. If you did your math, uh, that you start off with uh one, I mean seven fifty. You should have 120. And that's like, and uh, that, that's pretty good though. To let last you to, to the next month, 120. That's if you're on a fixed income and you're living in a, like a high rise if you're on Section L or something. And, I, and, this, and this was not including food stamps. They said I couldn't get food stamps at the time. They won't let me get food stamps. So if you're a single mom and you're getting food stamps and you're getting like 750. Okay, and you got, say you got two kids. All right. Okay, let me say, you a mom, you got two kids, you staying in a uh, Section 8, because I had to stay on Section 8 one time too. Ain't no wrong with Section 8, I had to do it. So, yo, you getting 550 and say you get like two hundred dollars in food stamps, you got some kids and stuff. I never got, I didn't get food stamps. So your rent, say your rent probably gonna be like two something. I say two two fifty. Five hundred, five hundred left. Your rent with kids and everything. Your rent, I mean, uh, your electricity bill with kids and everything, it's probably gonna be like one. I say one sixty. 
your electricity. One six that's gonna leave you with three three forty transportation. I'm gonna put it out like a a hundred dollars for transportation. And you're a mom with with two kids, you got groceries, you got two hundred dollars in food stamps, groceries, your electricity bill, one sixty, your your uh, your electricity bill one sixty, transportation or uh, one uh, one hundred. So uh, you got you got to take your kids stuff. You got to buy your kids stuff. All right, I'm gonna say one seventy five. Take away one seventy five. You still got six dollars to last you to to the next month if you do it right. You know what I'm saying so. With that being said, you might can't go out there and buy your kids the most expensive stuff. You know, you gotta buy your kids on uh, stuff that you can afford, stuff to come your income for you can last. And then another thing is, okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to uh, if you on a fixed income and you're in a wheelchair and uh, you living in uh, high rises or Section A. I say your rent was three, three fifty, right? Okay, your rent was three fifty, one hundred dollars, three fifty, one hundred dollars. Your electricity bill, I'm gonna say a hundred dollars. If you're not getting no food stamps, which you might, you might get food stamps. If you're not getting no food stamps, I'm gonna cancel that out. Uh, say, uh, you, you buying like fifty dollars in food. Take that off. So that's gonna leave you two, two fifty. Right now. So it's gonna leave you two fifty. All right, transportation. Third dollars for transportation. It's gonna leave you two, two twenty. But check this out. So you got doctor bills, you got copay. Let them know that you can only pay ten dollars a month. As long as you tell them you can pay ten dollars a month, they can't do nothing to you. They might threaten you and be like, "Well, you gotta do this." this. If you paying something, can't nothing happen to you. You gotta realize that. Don't let them scare you and tell you, "Hold on, let me talk to my manager." Stuff they, they ain't doing. I'm putting the phone down and waiting for a little while. I say, "My manager said I can't take care right there." Look, the phone call is being recorded. So once you tell me you can't take my money, that means I don't owe y'all no money. And please believe they not gonna say that. I can pay ten dollars a month. That's gonna still leave you a hundred some dollars. And everything I'm telling you, this is something that I've been through. I had to stay in uh, towers before. I had to stay on Section Eight before, but I'm not. I'm not there no more. I learned how to budget my money and uh, get up out of that situation. Now I'm doing something better for myself. And you can do the same thing. You pay attention to what I'm sitting. What I'm telling you. And how to do it. Your most important thing is your roof, your electricity bill, and food. Everything else, that's something that you want. It ain't something that you need. That's something that you want. You know. As long as you got your, your, your rent paid, your electric bill paid. Then that time, then another thing is you don't really need no phone because you can get a phone for free. So you don't gotta pay no phone, but you can get a phone for free. A lot of this stuff that we have and that we want is because we want it. It ain't because we need it. You know, so you can get a government phone, they free. So you don't got no bill on that end. So with that being said, like if this show ain't for you, you might know, you know somebody that this, this, that this show can help or, or the person that you know it might have, their pride might be too high they're not, they not going to let you know it. But me, myself, I've been in that predicament. I can see it in your eyes. Because if you ever, you know, you don't know if you ain't never been in that predicament. So you don't know what's it like and how to survive. But if you've been in that predicament before, you know what, you know how to survive. So uh, with that being said, thank you for watching my show, Everything from the Wheelchair Cooking Show. This is me, Ken, your host. Tune in, tell people about me, and uh, that's how you budget your money. If you're getting 750, you might get more than 750, 
But me myself, I know people. I know people that's getting 750 right to this day. And the day is 10, 21, 19. I know people that's getting 750. And they can't make it work. I used to get 750. But I made it work. Now I get more than that. And I have a job. So it's all about what you want and how you want to make it. If you don't want to, if you don't want to make it last to the next month, that's on you. If you get food stamp that helps. If you don't, and you're a single parent or a single single dad or by yourself, you can make it work. This is me, Kenneth from Everything from the Wheelchair Cooking Show. Follow me, tell people about me. And like I always say, if you want somebody to support what you're doing, support what the next person is doing. Especially if it's positive. Thank you. God bless you.